Hello, so today I've decided to make uh, an English video. Uh, why English? You're wondering. Uh, all my other videos are in Portuguese and this one in English. I have a very important message to pass about a play. And uh, if I could get anyone out there to reach, if I could reach someone this message, only one person, that would be enough. Uh, it's about uh, why wear makeup. This is the, the title of, this could be the title of the video, why wear makeup. And you will understand why. But this is not about empowering women more. It's not about, it's not about any of this. It's about a plague that's going out of out there it's uh, body shaming and shaming women over makeup especially women over makeup men too i think it's even worse with them than with women but as a teen i remember being called many names alien weirdo number one joke fat girl slim you name it uh back then we didn't we didn't i didn't give in any much thought and i thought that these people were just being cruel because they didn't know they didn't know any better they didn't have anything else better to do so whatever i grew up i got more mature and i thought that everybody went along in the process. <sighs> Yo, I was wrong. This is very disappointing. So this is the 21st century and I'm being shamed because I wear makeup. I'm being shamed over my hair color, over my clothes, my tattoos, and other people are being shamed over the piercings and gender and sexuality and you name it, anything. This is the 21st century and this is still happening. I've heard all kinds of comments. I, I have even listed them down below, some of the funniest. Like, um, why are you wearing too much makeup? This kind of makeup, I mean, you'd look so much better without it. Or, see, this is why guys have trust issues. Or, this is why guys should always take a girl swimming on the first date. Well, actually, I can respond that. My makeup is waterproof, so if you can't swim, that's your problem, not mine. Uh, others like, um, you must be insecure, or... Women should not wear any makeup because it was invented by men, so it's unnatural. That's the weirdest one I've heard. It was invented. Everything was invented by men. Cars, houses, clothes, even your cell phone. So we shouldn't wear any of this and go back in a while. Maybe, I don't know. And what would you say these things to a person? Oh, the face is too cakey, or... I mean, if you are a, a makeup professional artist, I get it. But if you're not, it's none of your business. There's no problem. This, that's not your issue. It's mine. It's my face. It's my look. It's not, none of your concern. You're not doing it for my sake. You're, you're, you're doing it to empower yourself. Because... Letting other people down empowers you. And that's not right. I can't and I will not tolerate this kind of things anymore. You can you, you just cannot expect to tell these nasty things to someone and to expect that person to, to let it go and she won't remember, she won't. Oh yeah, she will remember. 
and in a painful way. And she might cry over it. I've cried over some comments that I've heard. And it's really painful because once you said it, it's out there. Rumors, whatever. And I'm wondering, how would you feel if it was you? How would you feel if you were being labeled? If you were being defined by your looks. Defining people over their looks don't define them. It defines you as a shallow person. It's my makeup or like lack of makeup does not define me. It does not define my intellect, my values, my ambitions, my dreams. My expectations it doesn't define what I am as a person as a woman as I said it only defines you as a mean cruel person all this bad nasty language these these scary looks the way some guys would look at girls in a way that makes them feel uncomfortable it's not right at the very least I don't think we can call it bullying. Maybe it's already harassment. I don't know if people get the fact that this is a felony. And maybe you have a daughter, a wife, a sister, a mother, a niece. And maybe she has already been treated this way and you should ask her how she felt. And you should ask yourself, how would you feel? And I don't think you would like the answer. I don't think you would like what you see. You would like what you hear. It it only makes you a a shallow person. And I stand against any kind of discrimination. There's a reason why my label on YouTube is purple. I, I remember the Orlando shooting. And all these people were in a club having fun and then got killed over it because they were having fun who cares if they were gay if they were not gay what the hell they were just having fun it means that I cannot go out there and have fun my own way I have to do everything your way that's not right I won't do this enough is enough it's my life and I'm going to live it the way that I intend to if I want to wear makeup I will if I don't I don't If I want to dye my hair in another color, I will. If I want to wear a skirt, jean, PJs, whatever, I will. That's none of your concern. That's none of your business. You didn't pay for it. I did. Mind your business. Mind your own life. Get into there. Because I think that's the problem. You don't have enough business to mind. So you're minding everybody else's business. And that's not right. This is not how it should be. This is not what you should be doing. In a world where you can be so many things, you could try so many different things. In a world where a little gesture, a kiss, a simple hello, how are you doing? I mean, you have Skype, we have so many platforms to communicate and to be kind. And you choose to be cruel and a bully and really an idiot. Well, that says a lot about you. It says a lot more about you than it says about me. Yeah, my English is not perfect, but I think it's enough for everybody to understand that the issue of shaming women and men over their looks, that is so in the past. I mean, it should be in the past, but it's not. And it's not okay. And... Someday you might have a daughter or a son and you don't know what's going to happen to them. You don't know what they will turn out to be. You expect them to be happy and to be healthy. And I sincerely hope that because if they get to be treated the way you treat, the way you have treated some of the people you have bullied, they will understand the pain, they 
don't understand the cruelty and the pain painful language. This is about human decency and letting everyone out there know that if you've ever been discriminating, discriminated, uh, you're not alone and uh, don't don't think that it is your fault because it's not. Uh, don't cry over it, just shake it off. Just let these people live in their own little perfect world and I don't know you don't need them why would you need some someone like them someone like that in your life you are so much more than your look you are so much more than your makeup you are so much more than your clothes or you are so much more than them and reject that that bullying reject that just get over it. And there are two ways you can do it. You can answer like straight in their face. Or you can do what I do, which is you shake it off and you're like, okay, I'm not going that way. You don't deserve a second of my time. What I, re what I want to say to end this video is dedicated to all the bullies and everybody out there who has ever discriminated someone over their looks, their gender, their sexual orientation, their color, their body type. I have been taught human decency. I have been taught the values of dignity and respect. I know what that means. And when you go out, when you go to bed tonight, uh, I would like you to wonder, do you know what that means? Because I do. And at least that makes one of us.